All right, and I double checked things, and yeah, that was correct. I had only 19 IPCs to spend. Part of that was because I was being convoyed here. I was being convoyed here. French Indochina was contested, as was Lorraine. So yeah, that totaled down to uh, 19 IPCs, and I didn't have uh, French Equatorial Africa as well. Anyway, on to the British Empire turn. Um, I really, really wanted to buy two fighters, and I really wanted to buy a technology token, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I'm just buying units. Uh, for 11, a fighter, two infantry, one infantry for three, uh, artillery and transport for 10, and then for 14, is it? Hold on a second. One second. Actually, I might be wrong. Oh yeah, that's an extra buck. Okay, so for 13. Oh no, 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 that's what, I chipped it out wrong. That's what it was. One infantry, one cavalry, two artillery. That's what it was. Okay. Alrighty. So for 14, two artillery, one infantry, one cavalry. Okay. <clears throat> All right, first things first. That uh, poison gas that I'm hanging on to in London is going to go once again back down in West India. So swap that out. Pair it with the three artillery. Okay. Um, everything from West India will attack Persia. Um, the cavalry from Burma will attack Malaya along with the, uh, the Siam units, infantry artillery. Uh, the cruiser from 48 is going to go 1 to 43, 2, 3 to C zone 40. Um, everything from C zone 38 is going to go up to 41. That's a dreadnought, four cruisers, and a sub, also a transport. Uh, the transport in C zone 31 is going to go 1 2 to C zone 37. Um, not sure what I'm doing completely over here just yet. Let me backtrack to that. Um, from 59, the infantry and artillery in German New Guinea are going to hop on the transport. And that transport and that dreadnought are not going to German Samoa. They're going to go 1, 2 to 48 and offload in Malaya. I'm sick of this. I am taking Singapore back. All right. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous how long this has been or been German. Okay. Um, everything from Queensland is just going to move over to Northern Territory. That's, uh, here, let me just stack it. Oh, no, five infantry. Five infantry to Northern Territory. Um... Canada. Four infantry from Canada hopping on the two transports. They're going to go 1, 2 to C zone 20 and offload in Picardy. So there will be, I know this is really crowded here, there will be eight British infantry in Picardy. Uh, the Dreadnought will go to 20 from, tw from 2 along with one sub. And uh, let's see. Uh, Cruiser from 2 is going to go 1, 2, 3 to C zone 27. And uh, sub from 20 is going to go 1, 2 to C zone 15. Okay. It is round 4, so we can buy tanks. Nobody, as a reminder, we can buy tanks. Nobody's bought tanks yet. I'm not buying tanks, at least not just yet. Um... Okay, uh, do, 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 man, German East Africa is going to be a tough nut to crack this game. Um, hmm. Okay, the infantry from Anglo-Egyptian Sudan is going to attack French Equatorial Africa along with the cavalry from Egypt. 
Um, I only have infantry and artillery in Rhodesia now. I am going to back that artillery from Rhodesia out of out of Rhodesia to South Africa. And the infantry from German East Africa will reinforce Angola. The infantry from Angola, side, side note, uh, just a side note. You could do this in the original 1914. You cannot do this in this game where like infantry from Angola backs it like it's contested. Infantry from Angola backs out to Rhodesia, and then infantry from German Southwest Africa steps in. You can't do that without fighting again, okay? Um, you have to keep... Retreats are always considered to happen first. So if I retreated, then technically this would become uh, German for a split second, which means they control it, and then combat would have to ensue if I wanted to do that. So I do not want to do that. Um, but I am going to reinforce it. Okay. Um, and then the infantry from South Africa. What's he going to do? He will reinforce Rhodesia. Okay. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Okay, that's it. All right, so let's do Persia real quick. I got three poison gas artillery, three regular artillery, and then three regular infantry. Sorry, three poison gas artillery. No, sorry, not three regular. Let me rephrase this. Three poison gas artillery, bumping up three infantry and three unpaired infantry. Okay, nice. His po the poison gas was effective. All three of the Ottoman infantry are paralyzed. Um, I got two, only only two hits though. So that is a bit of a bummer. I didn't take the territory, but it's contested and they don't get to fight back. So there's only one Ottoman infantry there in Persia now. Um, I'm just gonna stack these roundels because who knows what's gonna happen with this shit. Pardon my French. Okay, um, so there's that. No fight, no fighting over here, no fighting over here. Fight here. Two twos against one three. They both miss. He fights back with a three. He misses two. Okay, Germany goes down one. And over here, okay, this is a big one. Long time in the making, I got four threes, a bombardment and a bombardment at four and a two for the, for the cavalry. I need two hits. I got two hits. All right, cool. All right, they fight back. Also two hits. Look at that. Two threes. Cool. Okay. Well, anyway, I take the territory. And I will lose one infantry, one cavalry. Okay. That is back. Singapore is back in business. Let's get that off of here. Yeah. Okay. It's back in business, baby. This is a little bit in the way over here. Two. One, two. They, I think they just barely have the Empire point right now. Britain goes up to two, up to 38. Okay. All right. Um, all right. That is it for combat. Okay. So, disposition. Well, let me place my stuff first. In West India, one infantry, one cavalry. Two artillery. Um, transport in C zone 20. Fighter in London. Two infantry in Egypt. 
infantry artillery in South Africa. Okay. Let's see, I got 30, 38 on the tracker. Um, let's see. 38 on the tracker. Am I being convoyed anywhere? Is Britain being convoyed anywhere? Yes, I am. Just drop something. Okay, I'll find it later. So we got five cruisers here convoying Britain. Let's see what they do. They can rob up to four, five, six, seven IPCs. Okay. Four IPCs, they rob us. Those are misses. So I lose four bucks. Here, I'm gonna swap this five for a single. Okay, so that leaves me with 34 IPCs. But I do think I have a national objective. There are no Central Powers warships in the Atlantic Ocean, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, that's Sea Zones. 1 through 24, 1 starts up there, and it works its way up here, up to there. Does not include the sub over here in the Baltic Sea, um, over there. So, yeah, okay, so I get an extra three IPCs for that. I'm just going to snag it from this pile. Okay, so I get an extra three IPCs for that, and I think that is it. I really need to control all... Arabia, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Palestine, Egypt, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, definitely not, and definitely not. Okay, not yet at least. All right, so I have, Britain has 37, 34 plus 3, 37 for next turn. On to the Empire of Japan. I have 14 IPCs. I'm going to buy four infantry and save two IPCs. Okay, um, Japan has a pretty interesting turn. So, from um, central Japan, infantry artillery will load up on the transport in 55, which will go 1 2, offload into Qingtao. Transport in 51 will come back to 55. Okay, um, two infantry in Marianas. We'll hop on that transport and go one, which will go one, two down to 59, offload in Bismarck Archipelago and take that empty territory. Side note, uh, originally I was planning for Japan to hit Malaya and free up the British you know, to just start going that way, but I decided against that because this is the only way I can do it to, to so that uh, Germany does not get their. Uh, Pacific and Trindade IPC, uh, not IPC, national objective. If they control three territories by their fifth turn, which is their next turn, if they control Trindade and at least, oh sorry, not Trindade necessarily, but if they control three territories that are in the Pacific or Trindade, if they control a total of three territories from anywhere in here or this territory over here, they get five IPCs. So as like a propaganda thing, right? So that they've held on this long and stuff like that, right? So. I can't attack the Marshall Islands. German, German Samoa is contested. They don't control it, so they're going to have to try and attack. If he wants that, that, that those IPCs, he's going to have to try and attack that one British infantry there. I'm going to attack Palau, and uh, Qingtao is contested already. Um, if I contest these territories, he doesn't control them. Um, so that is why I'm doing this the way that I'm doing it. The two infantry in Siam hop on this transport, which will go... Um, 1, 2 to 58 and offload in Carolinen, the, um, which will automatically take that because it's empty. And then this Dreadnought goes 1, 2 to 49, and uh, the two infantry in French and China hop on the other transport in 48 and offload in Palau. So I'm going to try and take that territory there. And then this stuff here stays put to help boost the British in case these guys come back. All right, that is it. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's do Palau. I got two twos and a four. He has a three. And I got a hit with a bombardment. That's a three. Okay. He misses. 
Excellent. Okay, and then there's that. And we got this battle up here. I got a two and two threes. He has a three. And I get exactly one hit, which is what I needed. He fights back with a three. And he misses. Awesome. Okay, Cheng Tao is finally Japanese. Which means Japan goes up from 12 to 14 IPCs. Okay. Cool. Uh, how many did I capture this turn? I captured one, two, three, four. So I, ca I get one-time payments for each of those territories, plus the two that I saved. And then four infantry, two of which are going to go down in Korea because I have a military base there, and then two in central Japan. Okay? Um, so I will get 14... 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 for next turn. All right, that is it for Japan. Disposition, oh, I didn't do a disposition for Britain, did I? Did I? No, I didn't, right? No, I didn't, okay. Let me do Japan real quick. Two cruisers in 48, two subs in 48. 49 has a dreadnought, transport, Palau Islands, two infantry. 58 has a transport and two infantry in Carolinan. Our, uh, 59 has a transport and two infantry in Bismarck Archipelago, uh, two infantry, one artillery in Qingtao, uh, one transport in 51, two infantry in Korea, along with the military base, Central Japan, two infantry, one artillery, and then C Zone 55 has a transport. Um, to, uh, I think I said it, but uh, in C Zone 48, two cruisers and a sub and uh, two subs. All right, on to the Brit British Empire for a disposition. Two infantry in Hong Kong, infantry in Borneo, infantry, two artillery in Malaya, 48 dreadnought in transport, uh, five infantry in Northern Territory, one infantry in contested German Samoa, uh, one cruiser in 40, one transport in 37. Uh, in 41, I have four cruisers, one dreadnought, one transport. <clears throat> South Africa has two artillery, one infantry, and one French infantry. Angola, two infantry. Rhodesia, two infantry. Uh, French Equatorial Africa has a German infantry still and an infantry, a British infantry and artillery. Egypt has three machine gunners, two artillery, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven regular infantry, along with five Italian infantry and one artillery. Um, one cruiser in 27, one sub in 15. Um, West India has infantry, two artillery, one cavalry. Um, Persia has three artillery paired with poison gas, and then six regular infantry. Ottomans have one infantry left. Uh, two infantry in Canada. Season 20 has three transports, two subs, and one dreadnought. London has three elites. Five artillery, one fighter, and two regular infantry. And there are eight British infantry in Picardy. Okay. Going once, going twice. Uh, one British infantry in contested German Samoa. I think I said that already. Yeah, going once, going twice. Sold off to the Ottoman Empire. And again, Britain has, like I said, 37 IPCs. Okay. Take care.